obsessed with pop stars or movie stars or catching pocket monsters. Well, not this little big shot. She's passionate about one of America's biggest big shots ever. My name is Lindsay. I live in Pleasanton, California, and I'm five years old. I love Abraham Lincoln. I was him for Halloween, but then I was a statue of liberty because I'm American. This is Abe. I, use, I sleep with him, and he keeps me safe. Please welcome five-year-old Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi. You're Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Wow. So, why do you love Abraham Lincoln so much? He believed that all men are created equal. What facts can you tell me about Abraham Lincoln? Well, he did have lots of pets. <laughs> do you know what kind of pets he had? He had dogs, cats. Rabbits, cows. Lots so of pets. He even had a cat named Tabby. He had a he cat. He loved her. He even fed her with a golden fork and his wife didn't like that. <laughs> he fed the cat with a gold fork? Yeah. If it's good for Lincoln, it's good for Tabby. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this bag that you have? Money. Stuff. There's something in here for you. Uh, something in there? Oh. So, let me see what's in the bag. Oh, so you just collect the money with Abraham Lincoln on it. When I find the ones that don't have Abraham Lincoln, I'm like, why do I always get these? So I play in my piggy bank. Why do you have all this money? Places. Collecting it to go places. Like Mount Rushmore, his cabin house, his memorial. Did oh. you know this is for you? I was m more interested. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, old pants dispenser with Abraham Lincoln on it. Where the candy at? I ate it. You ate it? <laughs> I got one too. For matches. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. This okay. is for you. That's for me? Oh, wow, thank you very much. But I don't want to take your money if you're saving it, because you got to have a lot of money to go to Mount Rushmore. It would be unfair for me to do that. That's okay. See, you're very kind sharing but I would never take your money because I want you to go to these places so you can learn more about Abraham Lincoln. I'll just take this gift right here. Okay. So they told me that you know the Gettysburg Address. Yeah. Could you do it for me? You could. Let's come to the front. Let's stay right here. Let's stand in the middle. And now I want you to do the Gettysburg Address. Seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived, so dedicated to long endure. <laughs>